How good is this? Free underbody car wash. Free underbody car wash. Afternoon with Terry towing the caravan. So we've got 200 k's to go until we're back in uh, Adelaide, back at home. Chelsea's actually a pack a day smoker. <laughs> That's what I sound like. Um, I have tested for COVID and it's not, but I feel like I've got it. This morning we are leaving Lake Argyle, so that last night was our last night in WA. And we're a little bit nervous heading out. Um, Timber Creek had a heap of rain last night, but so far all the Northern Territory reports say the road's open. So update, we've made it two and a half hours to Timber Creek from Lake Argyle. There was a little bit of water and a few spots on the road, but nothing crazy at all. You can definitely see where there has been some quick flash floods cruise through. Now we just have to do the next section. So what have we got, about another two hours or so to go? Uh, I think it's about three hours or so still. Um, I don't know, I haven't put it in yet to check, but uh, yeah, it says we're gonna get there about 3.30, 4 o'clock or so. so. Yeah. Yep. That's fine. We've checked the roads on Bryce's phone. Everything says, still says with caution, so... Yeah, yeah, good to go. We've seen quite a few cars on the road. Everyone's moving around. None of the signs are saying closed or anything like that. So, fingers crossed, should be sweet. And hopefully these dark clouds in the distance don't give us any grief. Decent amount of water up here, but it doesn't look crazy. Was he reversing? What are you doing? Don't know. Well, I'm just gonna stay here. So there's a couple cars up in front of us that are a bit nervous to go through. I just had a bit of a walk up there. Um, we've seen a few SUVs and caravans and stuff cruise through, so we're gonna go. I think this guy's gonna follow us, and yeah, it should be sweet. Doesn't look very deep though. No, no. It's like two sections. Yeah, no, it's, it's all fine. It's no different than the last one we went through. Yeah. I think you're higher on your side, like to sit. Yeah. You just sit in the middle. Yeah. It's not, it's not even that deep. Just keep up a bit of momentum. Yeah. Do you want to just go a little bit faster? Sorry, my nerves are getting the best of me now. Yeah, we're sweet. It's my nervous talking going. We're <laughs> sweet. Yeah, I can I can see out the back. We were doing more water than this last year. How good is this? Free underbody car wash. Free underbody car wash. Perfect. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Love how we're the test dummies and we're the only one towing a caravan. <laughs> Alrighty, let's now send it because yeah. I don't know how much more water is on the road. Made it easy. Catch up. Hey, Jay. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> We ended up making it to Catherine. We're here just for the night. Uh, there was a fair bit of water around on the road on the way from Kununurra to here, but uh, we made it nice, safe, and uh, we're on our way home. So we've arrived at Mataranka. We left Catherine this morning and uh, Chelsea's still feeling a little bit average. So I went to the shops and I got the nearest thing to some chicken nuggets that I could still stomach. Got some chicken breast tenders. So. Oh, I thought they were nuggets. No. Oh, they're tenders? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I sound like a, a, whore, a horse throat. Is that what you call it? Chelsea's actually a pack a day smoker. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I sound like. Um, I have tested for COVID and it's not, but I feel like I've got it. But it's not, because I keep testing. Yeah, feeling a bit average, but hopefully the sulfury smells of bitter springs will uh, clear you up, a bit of warm water. Either that, or the smell of bat poo. It's one or the other. Yeah. So 
so there's no one around, which is normally a good thing, but uh, sometimes it's nice to just have a few people around. Just have someone else hop in the water first. Especially this time of year when things are like pretty high and flowing. But it does look crystal clear. It is quite high, so hopefully it's nice and warm too. No, it's not really warm. It's beautiful. Ooh, that's really nice. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Alrighty, in your hot pop it. Oh, why do I have to go first? Because I'm filming. Very graceful. <laughs> that looks so good. <laughs> you could get like a gig in like as a model or something doing like yeah, for a, for a pool company. <laughs> so Chelsea, can you smell the sulphur? No, my you, nose is blocked. You're just too blocked up. <laughs> Probably a good thing. Yeah, Blessing this, in disguise. That's it. This is very nice though. Very peaceful. Beautiful. Yeah, hey, just float, relax. Take it easy. Take it easy. I my lesson hanging on. Come sit here with me by the fire. And let it go for a little while. So be here as the night starts falling. Let my fingers walk over your head. We were thinking about staying in Mataranka at the homestead tonight. It is fairly cheap, I think it's only $30 for power and water, but it's about one o'clock. We're gonna go for a quick dip and then I reckon we're gonna try and get at least another couple hundred Ks down the road. We would really like to be in Alice Springs tomorrow night, which is still just over a thousand Ks away. So we're thinking if we do a couple of hours minimum this afternoon, uh, maybe pull into a roadhouse or something tonight and then crack on tomorrow morning early. Oh, look at that dark sky behind us. Yeah. Good thing we're not bringing the caravan through here. Check this big mud pit here. I don't think that'd be too fun driving a nice white caravan through. And that's where all the good sights are up there as well. Lovely. That's actually thick. Yeah. They must have had some hectic rain through here because this is all just like washed away. They've been in obviously today or yesterday cleaning it up too. Wow. Do not open your mouth. There's so many bats up there. Yeah, don't open your mouth and look upwards, hey? You Might start a new pandemic. Maybe that's what I've got. Yeah, maybe you've got it part two. So last night we stayed at Daily Waters Roadhouse and it is a sloppy mess here. Um, we actually thought we might have even got stuck on the way out. It's that sloppy and muddy and brown. And, but we're out, we're on our way south still. We're gonna head through Tennant Creek today. Maybe get to Alice Springs, but it's not looking hopeful. So yesterday I said that we were hoping to get to Alice Springs today, but yeah, it's not looking very good. It is, what, about 900k, 800k? Yeah, it's about 900k still. So I don't think we're quite gonna make it. I don't really feel like spending 10 hours in the car, but we're just gonna try and push on and see as far as we can get. There we go, 902k's. Yeah, it looks like we might be having a New Year's somewhere like Tea Tree or something like that. Exciting. <laughs> Two sixteen. How good is that? Two dollars sixteen a litre. Buddy, you haven't seen that since we left Kananara. That's a bargain. Yeah, I wouldn't call it a bargain. <laughs> Still a rip. Wrong, 
We have made it to Alice Springs. Last night we didn't film because we had a very uneventful stop at Tea Tree. We just stayed behind the roadhouse, plugged into power so we could use the aircon and then woke up this morning and got cracking to Alice. We just stopped in a car park here and might treat ourselves to some Maccas for lunch because it's been quite a while and we're feeling really lazy. We've nearly run out of food in the van and we're trying to keep it that way because when we cross the border into SA, probably tonight, we will have to throw out all of our fruit and veg. So I don't really wanna do any stocking up before then. But I must say, this super dry heat is much better than what we were used to in Kununurra and Broome. It was just so wet up there, so I'm loving the fact that we can go outside. And it's something we're a bit more used to. We're used to the SA weather, which is dry and hot, not humid and sticky. We stopped off last night at a little roadhouse called Colgra. We ended up getting fuel there and then just deciding that we'd stop and plug into power because it was about 40 degrees yesterday afternoon and we didn't really want to put the car through uh, towing in that kind of heat. We are just about to head into SA. So that was our last night in the Northern Territory and in 20 k's time, we're going to be crossing into our home state of South Australia, which we're actually kind of excited about. It's 20 past six in the morning at the moment, but we know that we're about to lose another hour uh, when we hit the border in a minute. Hello, South Australia. We're about to come into Coober PD. Uh, we're gonna stop here for the night because it's getting a bit hot outside. It's like 38, 40 degrees, and we don't really want to be driving in the heat. Um, yeah, and you know when you're getting into Coober PD because you can always start to see all the uh, remnants of the opal mines where they've dug holes and bits and pieces. If you are interested in seeing what there is to do around Cooper Pedy, we will put a little card up here from one of our videos last year. We visited a few places around the town and also went into a church where Bryce got um, annihilated in the comments because he was wearing his hat inside. <laughs> I know. Surprised, <laughs> Not too I haven't, surprised I haven't been struck down. Welcome to Cooper Pedy. Uh, it's dry, it's hot, and we're pretty lucky this park has a pool. So that's where we're headed now. But it is one of them days where you're just watching the fuel gauge crash because we've got a bit of a headwind and yeah we're on a bit of a timeline to get home so we're pushing through it. We do travel with a couple of jerry cans just in case but fingers crossed we'll make it to Glen Dambo without needing to pull one in. And I've just got my little macrame station in the car just making some presents for our family when we get home. It is another driving day. We've done stacks of driving. We haven't really done anything exciting. So, sorry about that, guys. It's so nice to be able to free camp again and not have the air conditioner on. We worked out the last place was... Cape Corodron. Cape Corodron. I'm glad he said that because I keep calling it <laughs> Cape Conundrum. Um, so that was maybe like two months ago now? Mm, yeah. yeah, quite a while. Just because we actually literally haven't been able to sleep without the aircon running it's been so hot and humid but it's beautiful and cool here in south australia it is a sad afternoon because it is our last afternoon with terry towing the caravan so we've got 200 k's to go until we're back in uh, adelaide back at home and uh, that's the last 200 k's terry's gonna have the caravan on the back a little bit sad because this car has done us so well over the last what nearly three years so we're going to be saying goodbye and we have the present sitting in the driveway at my parents house and make sure to let us know in the comments what you reckon we've got catch you later
going to be a fun night sleeping for Chelsea. I'll sleep right through this, but Chelsea's going to wake up every time. The thing is, he comes past and he toots the horn. Better not do that in the middle of the night. Oh, might be our new present. 